Hello, my name is Max and I'm going to be showing you how to create an off-chain oracle using the Zap Oracle template, and how to query it using Zap Terminal. This video will assume that you have MetaMask, Zap, and Node.js. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download from the two repos from GitHub, Zap Oracle template and Zap Term. And then once you finish that, you're going to want to first and npm install uh, the the packages, uh, then npm run build since this uses TypeScript. And then once you have those those down, you should be able to edit the JavaScript files to fit your needs. Or if you're so comfortable, you can edit the TypeScript files first before uh, doing a run build. Now, uh, the three files you're going to want to look at, you're going to want to start with config, which sets where I set my title, my public key, and my MetaMask mnemonic. It could be any wallet mnemonic, but right now I'm using MetaMask since I'm, this is how, I, it, how I'm accessing the Kovan network. In schema.js, I set my endpoints. Endpoints basically are the types of functionality that you want in your Oracle. Now, the, the queries are based on a bonding curve. What this means is that it's a supply-based uh, cost per query. So I can set it so that it's a flat amount, one way zap per, per dot, or rather per query, or I can have it in perhaps increasing amounts, such as 2x plus 1 way zap per dot, where x is the current number of dots in my system for more, say, expensive operations. Now, now that I set, initialize these, these endpoints, I'm going to want to give them functionality. Over here, you should be able to see very straightforward arithmetic operations uh, where I return a, an array of strings uh, the reason I do this is because if, while there are int arrays and bytes32 arrays, uh, the Zap Oracle template currently uses uh, the, the string arrays uh, for, uh, when interfacing with the Zap contracts. This can be changed by editing oracle.js, but that's, but that's another video. Now. Now that I've cre set the functionality, I should now be able to uh, run node oracle index.js. When, when I finish that, it sh if it should create my provider if I don't already have it, and it should create my endpoints if I don't already have them. If if it, I don't already have them, it it returns it, and console.logs uh, the transaction hash as seen here. Otherwise, it simply sets says that the curve is set. Now, now that uh. And just like that, my oracle is created. But now let's try testing the oracle. So I'll do this by first npm installing zap term and then doing another npm run build. And then I will call node source index.js and insert my, my MetaMask mnemonic. Once I've done that, I should have my ether balance and my my co my Kovan ether and my Kovan zap balance in here. And now, 
I'm going to want to bond to my endpoint. But first, I'm going to try and find it. Uh, I'm going to click 7 here. And it should list all the oracles on the Zap, on the Kovan network. And here I have my add sub oracle. Now I'm going to want to bond Zap to it since I have a lot of Zap. Paste and the add sub endpoint. I have zero dots, but I want to bond 99 dots, which means 99 queries. This will take some time as it is going through the, the blockchain. Uh, and then when I'm done, I should be able to query this Oracle 99 times. There we go. Now that, now that I have Zap bonded to it, I'm going to click 5, uh, put the same provider address, add sub. I have 99 dots bound. One dot will be used. I'm going to attempt to, to add the numbers 5 and 13 using the addition query. And if this goes correctly, then I should be able to get the query ID as well as the transaction hash. The query ID is generated within the ZAP contracts uh, based on the endpoints, the, the block, the current time, and the subscriber. And there you go. 5 plus 13 is equal to 18. Now, the other ways you can find your, your oracles see, are on Oracle Market Cap, as well as my, my Oracle Wallet. Uh, you would simply register here your password, simply, similar to MetaMask. And then over here, you would have your Ether balance and your Zap balance and, uh, and the oracles that you might be bonded to. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for listening.